All right, hello, this is Mrs. Short. So today, um, I'm not here, obviously, but um, I'm gonna just remind you of what we covered last class, and then you guys are gonna go and um, there's a little uh, activity page or activity uh, to do in Schoology, and I'm gonna explain what that is, and then you'll go do that. So let's remember what we did last time. We um, added and subtracted integers. So you wanna to try to do this without a calculator. The numbers should be small enough so that you can like kind of do them in your head. But um, let's begin. So we have positive and negative numbers, right? And so we're adding and subtracting them. So um, let's try some. So let's say we had like negative eight plus negative two. So remember when I have two things that are the same sign and they're added together, they kind of grow together. So it's like the sign would stay the same. So negative and a negative would stay a negative and eight plus two is 10. So it's like they get more negative. Negative eight plus negative two, it's more negative and get negative 10. So if I had, um, just like if I had six plus three, they're both positive. So they grow together and so six plus three is nine. Okay, let's see if we have um, negative uh, seven plus four. Okay, so these two things are different signs, right? So they're gonna act against each other. If I am at negative seven and I grow by four, that means I am rising. So if I have my little number line here, actually, let me uh, grab it. So what this means here, I am at negative seven and I am growing, I'm going forward this way by four. So I can kind of go one, two, three, four, and it puts me to right here. Okay, so I know the answer is negative three, but what I can also do and what we talked about last time is this. When you have signs that are different, they act against each other. So what you do is in your mind, you subtract the numbers, seven minus four is three. And then whichever number is bigger, seven or four, you take the sign. So seven's bigger, so I take a negative right there. Okay. So when they act against each other, you kind of subtract the numbers and you keep the sign of the bigger number to start with, like the seven or the four. All right, so let's do like, um, uh, five plus negative 12. Okay, so five plus negative 12. These are different signs. So I'm going to kind of subtract them in my mind. 12 minus five is seven. And which one is bigger, 12 or five? I'm not including the negative, 12 or five? 12 is bigger, so I'm gonna keep his sign. So let's do like um, negative three plus 10. All right, so these are different, different signs I'm adding. So I basically say to myself, let me subtract them. 10 and three, they subtract to seven. And which one's bigger? 10 is bigger than three, so I'm gonna keep that positive from the um, from the 10, so it's not really supposed to be written there, but you know. All right, so let's try one more. Um, negative eight plus negative four. So again, these are both negative, so they're gonna grow together. So eight and four add up to 12, and they were both negative, so it's gonna stay negative 12, okay? All right, so let's do some subtraction. So subtraction is going to be one more step. You're gonna turn your subtraction into an addition problem. So we, let's say we have, remember with that rule, keep, change, change. All right, keep, change, change. All right, so keep, change, change. So if I have like eight minus, um, well, if you have something like eight minus three, like you guys know eight minus three, that's just basic, that's just like five, those are easy. But let's say you had something like um, negative four minus two or something like that. So when you look at something like this, it might be confusing to you. So if subtraction is confusing, then you do this. Keep, you change the middle to a positive, and then you change this one to a negative. So there we go. So now we're back to addition. Negative four plus negative two, they're both negative. So they grow together, make up six. We add them to six, and they're both negative, so it stays. Okay. All right, so let's do another. Um, 10 minus, and let's put like a negative four. Okay, so I have subtraction, it's kind of weird to me, I don't know what it means, so I do keep, change, change. So, oh, 10 plus four, 14. Okay, all right, so let's do a couple more of those. 
let's say I have like um, negative 6 minus um, 10. Okay, so keep, change, change. Oh, so it's just negative 6 plus negative 10. They're both negative, so they grow together to be 16, and they're negative, so it stays there. All right, so how about, um, oh, let's see, negative 5 minus negative 2. Okay. All right, so again, subtraction, a lot going on there. Keep, so don't change this. Change, change. Oh, so you mean this is negative 5 plus 2. The signs are different, so they act against each other. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And which one's bigger? 5 is bigger than 2. So I'm going to keep the negative from him because he wins the battle, all right, because they're going to act against each other. And, um, yeah. All right, so let's try one more. Negative uh, 2 minus about negative 10. All right, so again, this is like the last one. Keep, change, change. So negative 2 plus 10. So um, they're different, so they act against each other. So 10 and 2, I, they subtract to 8. And which one's bigger? Well, 10 is bigger than 2, so I'm going to keep the positive from the 10. Okay. All right, so hopefully this reminded you what to do. And now let me point you to the direction of my screen. All right, so you're going to go to Schoology. And in today's folder for Schoology, so first of all, you have to find our class. So in your courses, you might have to go over here to My Courses. And you're going to look for um, Learning Center Mars 7. Right? So here's our materials, and there's your little assignment there. So I'll show you the paper that you're going to be writing on, but basically what you're going to be doing is you click on that assignment, it's going to open up the screen right here. You have to go to Slideshow. Okay. All right, so directions there, you can read through those, start. And so what you're going to do, and you can just go in order, you can go to any order you want, but like click on number one. Oh, five plus negative three. Hmm, think about that for a minute. I'll let you know, we subtract them in our minds because they're different signs. And so I get 2, and 5 is bigger, so it's positive 2. So I click that. And it says, yay, I did it. Okay, so go back to home. And so in number 1, if I had clicked for some reason negative 2, it would have been like, oops, try again. Okay, so each time you go home and come back to this screen, and you go through and do the problems until you get them all right. Okay, and what you're going to be doing is you are going to be recording your answers on this paper right here. So you'll keep track of which ones you've done, but you always, you know, so there's 20 problems to do. Okay, and let the teacher that's here know if you have a question. And that is it. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Oops. Wrong button. Sorry. My bad.